is it good for a leader to condemn those who are wrong in the ministry? Now, my suggestion is the leader would first would teach. Teach about what you know what people should do in their life and in, in ministry. And when, some, and someone, when someone has done something wrong, I think we should counsel them and help them. To bring the person to repentance. To lead him to pray and lead him to turn away from the sins. If the person doesn't repent, the leader can warn. It's dangerous. You can lose salvation. And I think, you know, for myself, I think the most we can do is to tell them this is serious. And you can lose salvation. And warn the person not to continue sin. Now, because to condemn means you have no hope. You have to go to hell. There is no more chance for you. There is no more chance for you. Now to say those things I think a leader should not say. But a leader should warn that the person can lose salvation. The Bible does talk about turn, you know, bring someone back with gentleness. And I would not say, you know, I would suggest that leaders would not point out the sins of people in public. Because Jesus said, when someone has offended you, tell him when you are alone with him. Only when he doesn't obey, kama hata sasa, and then we will tell more people to talk to him. And then when the person doesn't repent, then we tell the whole church to handle it. So according to Jesus' teaching, we should not publicly uh, uh, condemn or point out the sins of people but we can say something like this. For instance, please open your eyes in the sermon. Open your eyes to listen to the word of God. And when we worship God, worship with an open heart. Instead of saying, you, 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 open your eyes. So, I I you open your eyes. But I so we can have public encouragement. Instead of public pointing out the sins of people. Now at the same time I want to say respect your leaders. If the leader do something that is uh, too strong, too direct, it's a leader. Do not condemn. Accept and respect your leaders. Now there are times for public condemnation. 
mtu sasa akakemewe kwenye umati for instance you know you can see jesus he pointed out the sins of the pharisees je kwa mfano waweza kuona katika maandiko wakati yesu kristo anapokemea dhambi za wafarisayo kwenye umati for instance some people are tearing the church apart manaka kwa mfano kuna watu wengine ambao wanalirarua kanisa vipande or some are chasing women around na una, kwa ama unapata ndugu sasa kazi yake kwenye umati ni kukimbizana na wadada we and the person doesn't listen to us na huyo mtu kama hatatusikiza sisi kama viongozi we have to point it out in public sasa ni lazima huyo mtu tumkemee katika umati so i'm saying there are situation that we need to point out sins in public ahem <laughs> Na jaribu kusema kwamba kuna dhambi kuna uzito wa dhambi ambazo sasa mtu amekataa kutii, amekataa kuheshimu uongozi ulioko na anaendelea katika dhambi zake sasa huyo mtu ukamlete kwenye umati na ufanye namna gani? Umkemee. But we want to avoid doing it overdoing it that we hurt people's feeling in public. Lakini sasa pia hilo jambo tunalifanya likiwa na mipaka kwamba tusilifanye zaidi zaidi maana litashusha Eh, maisha ya Kikristo ya watu wengine. Okay, the next 